Uh, weight loss supplements. I do love reviewing the evidence in this area. I find it very, very fascinating how the social media experts or salesmen, saleswomen, really actually salesperson as it is 2021, can really take the smallest shred of evidence and create a number of outlandish claims about how their specific product is going to be the key to your weight loss success. And today we're going to specifically talk about conjugated linoleic acid or CLAs, which is probably a more common name that most of you have heard of it as. But before we dive too far into that, welcome back to the program, everybody. My name is Dr. Dan. I'm a pharmacist turned weight management specialist. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss another episode on my YouTube channel here. But also check me out on my other channels on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at the official Dr. Dan. There I post content every single day so you can stay most up to date on the evidence, the information that I'm putting out there and come along for the ride. Now, when it comes to making outlandish claims about a specific product in order to sell it and make a profit, really people have been doing this for years and kind of in the olden days, they were called the snake oil salesmen. And unfortunately, some of these individuals were actually from my profession. And they were doing things like adding alcohol and other illicit substances to various tonics and solutions in order to cure your ailments. And I mean, if you're drunk and high, you probably care a little bit less about that ailment, so they kind of did work. Alas, over the years, morals and ethics have become more front of mind, if you will, and getting your patient drunk or stoned tends to be frowned upon. Similarly, I now feel I have a moral obligation to bring you the most correct and up-to-date evidence around some of these products that the snake oil salesmen of today are selling you. All right, let's dive into the topic at hand. What are conjugated linoleic acid or CLA supplements? And me personally, I actually had to do a bit of my own research in this area to actually figure out what the heck CLAs were because I honestly didn't really know all that much about them. And they're actually a fatty acid that naturally occurs in meat products and dairy. And researchers have generally considered CLAs to be healthy. And I know that sounds kind of odd. Isn't fat supposed to be unhealthy? But CLAs are composed of what we call polyunsaturated omega-6 fatty acids. And polyunsaturated fats are considered more healthy and are certainly fats that we should try to consume more of in our day-to-day -day diet. And as a quick aside, if you were to go Google CLAs and various supplements, you would probably read that CLAs are actually made up of trans fats. Now, obviously, we know that trans fats are really bad news bears, hence just about every single government body across the globe has tried to eliminate them or make them non-existent with regards to our food production processes. However, researchers do point out that CLAs are naturally occurring trans fats and are not similar to the trans fats that are industrially produced in terms of oils and various things like that. So it's kind of thought, and based on some of the research, these naturally occurring trans fats don't exactly seem to be as harmful. However, the research hasn't fully been teased out in this area, and we actually really don't fully know if they are healthier or non-harmful compared to other trans fats. Regardless, let's dive into what the CLAs can do. So to answer that question, it's really going to depend on who you ask. If you talk to Craig, the Instagram influencer, he's going to tell you that CLAs can prevent cancer, can manage your blood pressure, bring your blood lipids down, manage your blood sugars, help you lose weight, and give you the life that you've always dreamed of. However, if you ask me, the pessimist and the realist, I will say that Craig can go catch a chicken, and most of the claims around CLAs are way overblown. For a majority of those health claims, the studies and stuff that they come from are primarily animal studies, so looking at mice and rats, which obviously are very different from humans, as well, the very small human trials that they've done are A, small, so they have a very small number of subjects, and they've generally been poorly done, so it's very hard to try and draw any kind of conclusions from these studies, and likely the evidence and the data that they've obtained just isn't very concrete and isn't very strong. And so really, they haven't shown any kind of real significant benefit in those areas. But today, we're going to specifically talk about CLAs and weight loss and what that evidence specifically says. So how did your friend Susan lose weight while taking CLAs? Well, first off, Susan had to be in a calorie deficit because that's the only way that we can lose weight. So her calories coming in had to be less than her calories that are going out or that she's burning on a day-to-day -day basis. That's, that's the first thing that happened. But to give you a bit more of a detailed answer, I decided to go to the literature and try to pull out some evidence, and I actually found a systematic review and meta-analysis from 2019. 
And the group that did this meta-analysis was Namazi and Friends. And basically what a systematic review of meta-analysis is, is they basically pull a number of different trials from the area that essentially look at what CLAs did compared to a placebo or CLAs compared to some other comparator. And then they combined all of the data to try and make one more comprehensive amount of data to try and see if there is any associations, if there is any significant results, and that sort of thing. They really do it through a whole bunch of math and magic and wishes and people much smarter than me do it all for them. Now, the theory as to why CLAs work for fat loss sounds really cool and really good, and why wouldn't it work? So Namazee and friends stated that CLAs are thought to decrease the size of your fat cells, they're thought to regulate fat metabolism, and they're also thought to stimulate the pathways that lead to the death of your fat cells. And I mean, that's exactly what we want, right? Death to the fat cells, get rid of them, kill them all off. Now, it's not like the results were negative. However, I would side with the fact that they really were more neutral. There might have been a small benefit in terms of weight loss and fat loss, but overall, nothing that's really mind-blowing or spectacular by any means. And the first thing I want to point out is in this meta-analysis and systematic review, it was a bit challenging for the authors because the studies that they tried to pull together, there was a lot of differences between the studies because different researchers use different methods and different results and different calculations. So it's sometimes hard to combine those studies together to get a true, basically, average of what the results actually said. As well, some of the studies that were included had other interventions going on, such as increased activity, putting their participants in a calorie deficit, and that sort of thing. So a big question with those studies, was the results that they saw due to CLAs or was it due to the calorie deficit and the physical activity aspect of things, which we know can certainly help with weight loss efforts? Nonetheless, let's look at a couple of forest plots. Now, this isn't a forest that we go look at in the Canadian wilderness. This is actually this graph right here. And what forest plots are designed to do is to basically list all the various studies that were included and to give you the average, overall average, of all of those combined studies at the bottom of the forest plot. And depending on which side of the vertical line you can see down the middle there, the little diamond shape falls on, will tell us what the overall average of those combined studies were. And as you can see as well, in these two forest plots, as you move down, you can see where the various studies also landed in respect to that vertical line. And in the case of these two plots here, what we're seeing is that the trend is going to the left. So that means that CLAs may have had a benefit in respect to the two results that we looked at here, which was weight loss and fat loss. In terms of weight loss, the results were actually significant when we compared CLAs to placebo. And on average, CLAs reduced body weight by a whopping 0.52 kilos or approximately one pound. And interestingly, older adults, if they were older than 44 years old, and those participants that were getting higher doses, generally greater than 3.4 grams of CLAs per day, tended to lose more weight. The older adults were losing on approximately about one kilo over a certain period of time, and those that were taking a higher dose of the CLAs were losing about 0.77 kilos or so. And when the CLAs were taken for a longer period of time, say past a 12-week mark, which was where most of the studies did stop, when it went past that 12-week mark, individuals were losing about 1.29 kilos over that period of time. And similar trends were seen with regards to fat mass loss. So obviously fat mass loss is important because we want to lose the fat itself, and we want to retain and preserve the lean body mass. So this kind of helps us to tease out, well, how much fat did these individuals actually lose versus just total body weight, which could be fat, could be water, could be everything. And on average, there was about a 0.6 kilo loss in terms of fat mass between all of the studies. The studies that went for a longer duration seemed to lose more fat, upwards of 1.9 kilos or almost 2 kilos over a certain period of time. And again, the older adults, so greater than 44 years of age, seemed to get a further benefit, so losing at about 1.79 kilos. I know, mind-blowing results, right? Now, if you've been following kind of my hypertrophy journey on my Instagram and TikTok pages at all, you will know that my weight fluctuates anywhere from three to four pounds on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, two kilos is about four pounds or 4.4 pounds, one pound. And so really these could be just natural fluctuations, although the overall trend of all the participants combined together seemed to show a decrease in the overall weight that these participants were showing. So there might still be a benefit, but really it is quite a small benefit overall that we're seeing. In terms of side effects, the CLA seemed to be safe in general. 
generally kind of the standard side effects that we see with pretty much anything that you put in your mouth could be nausea, stomach ache, diarrhea, constipation. Oddly enough, there was back aches and eczema were also reported. I don't necessarily know if this was due to the CLAs themselves or possibly some other issues that were going on, but something to potentially note. So what are my final thoughts on CLAs? Well, considering a one month supply of this stuff costs about 20 to $40 if you were to go to Amazon, I don't really think the minute benefit that you might get from taking these really justifies the cost of the supplement itself. And to be honest, with regards to the trans fats being natural versus industrial and it's supposed to be safer, et cetera, et cetera, I'm not really quite sure in that regard and I really would like to see more data just because we know from other data that industrial trans fats are so harmful for you. So I don't know if putting extra trans fats, even though they're natural, won't lead to potential harms. We just don't have enough data in that regard yet. However, if you are dead set on trying it, it looks like individuals that are greater than 44 years old are gonna get the most benefit. And you're definitely gonna need to take doses above 3.4 grams per day to get the actual max benefit from it. And as with anything that comes to weight loss, you're gonna to have to buckle down and take this for the long term. It isn't something you just use for a month. Hopefully you lose some weight something that you're gonna to do to help you to lose weight, you've gotta be able to continue it for the duration of your life. And that was definitely one of the downsides of a lot of these studies. These studies were only about 12 weeks long, some did go longer, but there really isn't that long-term benefit to say whether CLAs are actually gonna have that benefit on weight loss or not. Or, you know, you could save your pennies and buy some high quality protein and veggies, and ultimately that we know we can and will help you with managing your weight and living a healthier lifestyle. So that is all for today, my friends. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you got some value from this, please share it with your friends and continue to help educate the world around us. And finally, check me out on my other channels at The Official Dr. Dan. Shoot me your questions down below and your comments or ask me questions on my other platforms. I would love to hear from you guys and I'm pretty good about answering most of the questions and comments. So let me know what you got going on. And finally, check out my website, healthcareevolve.ca, if you want some additional support in terms of managing your weight and managing your lifestyle. And of course, as I always say, please remember that small tweaks lead to massive peaks.